<laughs> on that note, let's call up Gigsaw. I think Gigsaw. he's been texting me here, so let's see what he's up All to. Right. Gigsaw, what's up, dude? Welcome to the show. I got Marnie on the phone, uh, Decibel and Steamroller. How you doing? Hey, doing pretty good. Uh, not, yeah, not so bad today. I got two dates today, and both of them came over my house. They, they both came over just at the same time? No, no. One came earlier, and the other one just left. I, I didn't get anything, but I stuck a nipple at all. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. Well, Marley, Marty's going to help you out a little bit. Uh, did you want to call one of your number closes, and we'll just kind of stay quiet in the back and uh, listen to how the call goes? Yeah, yeah. She's already on my other line, because then I said I'm going to call around 740, but then uh, she decided to call me, so she's on the other line. Yeah, okay, cool. It sounds like you're kind of low. If you can speak up a little bit, that will be perfect. All right. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's a lot better. Are you sucking okay. on her nipple now? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, and uh, yeah, so this yeah. is a, this is a she's on the line right now, and then um, this is a different one. This is a different girl, and then uh, I'm kind of talking to her a little bit. Different. So I'll, I'll click over right now. All right. Okay, we'll just stay okay. quiet. All right. All right. Hold on. Yeah. So how's the drive so far? Mm, just five more minutes. Five more minutes. Yeah. Gonna eat a lot of food, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why don't you cook? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Make me, make me some, okay? You have to save me some so I can eat. <laughs> what kind of food do you eat? Any kind? I eat, uh, hot dogs. I like hot dogs. Twelve is... Oh. It's not easy. You go down to the market and you buy it and you go home to do it. Easy. Yeah, I can, I can do that. No problem. Yeah. I want soup, too. You make good soup, soup right? Uh-huh. Are you going to have to make me soup? soup. One day. <laughs> okay. You know ăn bún riêu không? Yeah, I do. You mean ăn bún riêu không? Yes, bring that. Bring that over sometime, okay? Okay, if I cook that, I bring that for you. I'm going to gain, like, 30 pounds. And you really? Can... Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Fine, you're going to help me work out. I can do it. Can uh, okay, can you do that? Be my personal hmm. trainer. We'll see. Yeah, but something else, too. You can be my personal trainer in the bedroom also, too, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, good plan. Okay. Did you have a good night? Oh, um... I... What are you doing tomorrow morning? Oh, no, I, I, I'm not sure, you know, when I can get to the time I call you. All right? Yeah, all right. What's your available schedule? Huh? What's your available schedule now? I don't know, but sometimes I'm so busy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so I, I will call you later. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, have a good night, tell me. Okay, you too. Yeah, bye-bye. All right, bye. She sounds sexy. Wait, well, wait, I'm not sure if she hanged up. Hold on. She's <laughs> yeah, a sexy mama. I'm crying. He didn't, I hit that. He, he didn't say pancake yet to hang up the call. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. I said Kathy, it. Are you there? Yeah, Kathy. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> 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 All right, never mind. Never mind. I think she hanged up. Yeah, right. just <laughs> That was a little bit too soon, man. <laughs> fuck. You're going to fuck up Gigsaw's leg. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, Marnie, what's your analysis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I felt really sad. You know what? I thought that you handled yourself really well in the beginning. Not sure about the I like 12-inch hot dogs comment because that was a little much. But, um, yeah, I, I don't think she was so into it at the end. And, like, you sounded like a wounded puppy dog. It was just like when she said, I'm not sure, you say, all right, I'll check you later. Like, rejection shouldn't beat you down so much. And it, it for me – that sounded like you were really beaten down, and I could tell from her voice that she could tell she was hurting your feelings. You know, she's just like, oh, don't do that. Don't feel bad. Oh, don't worry. I'll call you. She's trying to help you a little bit because you, you sounded like 
Yeah, like somebody just punched you in the face. That, that's my initial feedback. But I really thought that the interaction was good in the very beginning. I liked how you were kind of taking the lead and saying, yeah, you're going to do this for me. You're going to do this for me. And she was being playful back. She was smiling. I could tell she was smiling. She was like laughing a little bit and giggling. Uh, and then it could have been cut short. But you kept asking her things and trying to stay on the phone, which I'm not really sure there was a reason for that. Unless you were just trying to do that for us, which I, I completely understand that. Um, yeah, but I don't, I don't think that that overall went well. Yeah, My question yeah, is, just Gigsaw oh, likes to go sexual a lot, as you can tell. So how often does that work, you know, for most women? How often does explicit sexual talk like that not work? Um, usually, if it doesn't work out, they'll still talk to me. Um, I'll, just, I'll just talk about something different, or, or they'll just totally cut off from me, like ignore me and don't talk to me again. But if yeah. girls, they do continue talking to me, they... I think they like other aspects of my personality, and they continue talking. But I won't go into the sexual topic no more. I'll just talk about something different. Like they give me like subtle hints or or something they don't like, and or um, uh, yeah, yeah, they they don't contribute. So I just go ahead and talk about something else. But I do that. I do that as a screening process. I want to make sure that she's she's up for it because that's what I want. And if she's okay with me talking about you know, sexual things, and uh, I, I think I have a good idea about where it's going to lead to. Marnie, how effective is that, though, as a screening technique? Well, I guess I'm confused as to where the sexual things were. Like, you basically said you like penises. Yeah. So that's where, that, you know, that's where I'm confused. Like, I don't, I didn't, I, just didn't, I didn't get it. Like, hot dogs, like, that's, a, that's penis for me. So saying <laughs> you like 12-inch penises was really odd for me to be listening to. So I didn't get that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, for me, I, that's, I, yeah, that's not sexual talk. That's not sexual talk for me. Like, sexual talk is exciting, and it's, like, using innuendos. Uh, it's not like, window, oh, my God, like, like, I want to slurp soup. Like, I don't, I don't know. Unless it's like, you know what, I want to slurp soup off of your nipple. That soup? Would be, so, yeah, sloop. I want to sloop. I don't know. this one up. That wasn't good sexual yeah. talk for me, to tell you the truth. No. Um, no. It, just, it would just make me feel uncomfortable and awkward. And I would, if I liked you or other things about you, I would try to steer you away from that conversation because it's not doing good things for you. That's how I feel. Okay. Cool. That's good feedback. And Gigsaw, as always, man, that that's pretty ballsy of you to call a girl up on the phone, like on the on the show and stuff like that. Oh, like definitely. not a lot of dudes are down like that, man. So definitely props for that. He's got big yeah. balls. Yeah, like, he got big balls, dude. Big balls. Like, Casting over crew like, balls. Balls of fire. Like like with, with her, I, it's like uh, it's I've got away with it before, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. And I, I mean, the minute I feel like I can't get away with it with these these kind of talks with her, then, then I'm going to drop it and I'm just going to go into something different. But I feel like if she's still talking to me or any girls are still talking to me when I'm doing these kind of talk to them, then I'm just probably still going to do it still. Yeah, and you I, I really respect that. I think that, that that's uh, actually super sexy that you just said that because you're putting it out there. You're putting out there what you like. So, and you're not really – the only thing I, I would be careful of is that uh, when – when she did say she had to go, you kept trying to keep her on the phone, and then you got sadder and sadder. Like, the, the yeah. personality that you're showing now and what you showed when you first got on the phone, show that consistently throughout the phone call, and you will be fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, that's solid advice. Yeah, I was, trying to, I was trying to keep her on the phone a little bit because I talked to her probably uh, seven minutes before you guys called, so I was trying to keep her on the phone a little bit longer just so – we can talk about something else, but then she's there, yeah. her sister, so. Cool. Well, let us know how it turns out, Gig, so we'll have you back on um, next week or the week after. You can uh, let us know how all your all your women are doing. So uh, thanks for oh, being hey, on the I show, dude. we got to wrap it up pretty soon. Yeah, cool. Right on. Well, thanks, Marnie, for being on the show. Appreciate it. And, um, it was awesome. How can guys um, get a hold of you if, if they want to get in contact and your website and stuff? Well, they can go to winggirlmethod.com.